Mac Jones was drafted by the New England Patriots in 2021 and appears to be on track to be the long-term replacement for Tom Brady. These are 10 things you need to know about Mac Jones. Number 10, myth versus truth. An urban myth has been created that Mac Jones is related to Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. While they both share the same surname, Mac and Jerry are not related to each other at all. However, Jerry is related to another college football star, which is Arkansas quarterback John Stephen Jones, who is his grandson. Mac Jones comes from an athletic family. As his father played tennis at Florida State, his brother Will played soccer at Mercer University, while his sister Sarah Jane played tennis for the College of Charleston. Mac's dad, Gordon, had stated that his experience as a tennis player and being involved with Sarah's tennis career helped him be a better sporting parent as he focused on being supportive and ensured that he didn't push his aspirations onto his kids. Number 9. The Bill Belichick of Flag Football Mac Jones has football coaching experience. During his redshirt freshman season at Alabama, Mac Jones coached sorority intramural flag football, Team Zeta Tau Alpha. Practices ran for about an hour on Sunday nights and the season was a success as it concluded with a championship. Jones took the responsibility seriously as he doubled the size of the playbook and gave his quarterback a wristband with a playlist so he could signal in the calls from the sidelines. Jones is intense. Even when coaching sorority flag football, he was ejected from a game for being too vocal and had to watch the remainder of the game from the parking lot. However, he was okay with this as Zeta got the win. Number eight, say my name. Mac Jones' full name is Michael McCorkle Jones. However, when Jones was called Michael on his first day of school, he said, I don't know who Michael is, I'm Mac. His parents, Holly and Gordon, always intended to name him Michael McCorkle, but planned to use a shortened version of his middle name. The name McCorkle is his mother's maiden name, and that's why it was used as her son's middle name, even without the intention of ever calling him that. Jones picked up other nicknames at Alabama, which included the Joker, as he laughs with his mouth open, and McEnroe, which he was dubbed by offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian, as he would lose his cool. Cam Newton also used to call Jones Mac and Cheese when he joined the Pats. Number 7. A Dream Come True Growing up, Jones had aspirations of playing pro football. In the second grade, he wrote a letter to his future self, predicting that he would play football as an adult, but was unsure of what team he would play for. His Pop Warner coach, Eric Yost, said his talent was apparent as a seven-year-old, saying, There weren't many quarterbacks we played against who could throw it as far and as hard and as accurately as Mac could. That always made teams plan for us differently. Following the NFL draft, Yost said the Patriots were actually the team Jones always wanted to play for, as he grew up watching Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. Yost recalled how he ran into Jones' dad, Gordon, at a hardware store prior to the NFL draft and he told him how Mac and his family were really wanting him to go to the Patriots. Number six, the high school years. The six foot two Jones played high school football at the Bulls school, and he was coached by the legendary Corky Rogers, who had a state record 465 wins and 10 state championships. Jones led the Bulls school to a state championship as a senior in 2016, which was the same year that Rogers retired. Jones and Rogers had a complicated relationship as Jones idolized the coach as a young kid, but they did clash when he played for him. Rogers was old school and Jones was frustrated as they played in a wing T offense formation and Mack took almost every snap under center, while other high profile quarterbacks used a shotgun based five wide scheme which allowed them to showcase their talents. Sadly, Rogers died of cancer in February 2020, but prior to his death, Jones spoke to the coach and told him that he was going to dedicate every touchdown pass and every win in the 2020 season to him. Wayne Belger, who was an assistant coach at the Bulls school, believes that Jones not only has the talent to succeed in the NFL, but the mental makeup as well. Saying of Jones, he's not a prima donna. He's got that good swag that you need as a quarterback and is used to being coached the way that I believe Coach Belichick will coach him. Number five, walkthroughs with Sophie. Mac Jones' girlfriend is Sophie Scott, who's from Massachusetts. The happy couple have a house and are raising their dog Daisy, who's a four-pound toy Maltese. Scott's an influencer and has 40,000 followers on Instagram, where she posts about daily life, which includes her supporting Jones' career. She's a former athlete as she was a soccer player in high school and became a Division I recruit, but reportedly had to quit soccer after injuring her knees. Jones and Scott met at the University of Alabama in 2017 and have been dating since September 2019. In September 2020, Sophie celebrated their one-year anniversary on Instagram, writing, One year with you, love. 
While at Alabama, Sophie worked as a physical therapy aide in Tuscaloosa. Jones talked about how Sophie is supportive of his career and how he's enlisted her to help him learn the Patriots' playbook by doing walkthroughs in their yard. Number four, bumps along the road. Mac Jones was arrested his freshman season for a DUI and was suspended for one game. Jones was driving and hit another car. When the police arrived, he failed a breathalyzer test and was cited for having improper identification. No one was injured in the accident. At the time, Jones was a redshirt freshman and the third quarterback on the depth chart. Following the incident, Jones was concerned about how his father would view his lapse in judgment, and he said that this helped him to immediately shift to focusing on football. On nights when people would be going out, he'd go to the indoor practice facility to throw into a net or watch film by himself. Former Alabama wide receiver Mac Herford confirmed this by saying after the DUI, he didn't go out anymore. He locked in and put his head down. Number three, unheralded recruit. Over the course of his high school career, Jones evolved into one of the hottest recruits in Jacksonville, and he committed to Kentucky in July of 2015, as that was his best opportunity. As he grew up in Florida, it's not surprising that Jones was a big fan of Tebow and the Gators. However, neither Florida nor Florida State wanted Jones, even though he wanted them. Late in the recruiting process, he showed up in Gainesville for a football camp and wowed everyone with his arm, but it was too late for a scholarship offer, as their class was full. Jones tagged along to an FSU camp with a high school teammate who had an invitation. During the camp, Jones threw next to Joey Gatewood, one of the prized quarterback prospects who stood 6'4 and weighed 230 pounds. No one paid attention to Jones, who was the scrawny kid next to him, rifling passes across the field. Jones's mom, Holly, described it best when she said, Mac was dog poop to them. However, things worked out for Jones as quarterback recruit Jake Fromm decommitted to the Tide to follow coach Kirby Smart to Georgia, which allowed Jones to go to Bama. Jones announced his decision on Twitter. I would like to thank the University of Kentucky for recruiting me. However, an opportunity of a lifetime has presented itself to my family and me. I'm happy to say I'll continue my football and academic career at the University of Alabama. I am 100% committed. Roll Tide! Number 2. Having Patience at Bama Jones continued the strong tradition of Alabama quarterbacks, but he had to bite his time. In the 2018 season, he was the holder on special teams, and then he took over as starting quarterback in the second half of the 2019 season, after Tua Tangavaloa suffered a severe hip injury. Jones made four starts for the Tide, beating Arkansas and Western Carolina, before falling to Auburn in the Iron Bowl, despite throwing four touchdowns and 335 yards. Jones then led Alabama to a 35-16 win over Michigan in the Citrus Bowl. With Tanga Valoa departing for the 2020 NFL Draft, Jones took over as Alabama's starting quarterback and led the Tide in winning the 2021 College Football Playoff National Championship game against The Ohio State, 52-24. He was named the recipient of the Davey O'Brien, Johnny Unitas Golden Arm, and Manning Awards. He finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting, which went to his teammate Devontae Smith. Following the season, Jones announced that he would forego his senior year and enter the 2021 NFL Draft. Number 1. The Future Is Now Mac Jones was the 15th player drafted by the New England Patriots in the 2021 draft. There was speculation that Jones would be selected number 3 by the San Francisco 49ers, but they opted to select Trey Lance instead. Some speculated Jones dropped in the draft over concerns regarding his mobility and if his stats were inflated by the overwhelming talent on Alabama's roster. In addition, Jones had some overthrows at his pro day, which also may have hurt his draft stock. Jones was the fifth quarterback taken in the first round, and it was thought that he would initially back up Cam Newton, who had started for the Pats in 2020. However, Jones impressed coach Bill Belichick over a five-day stretch at training camp when he was forced to take the majority of the quarterback reps as Newton had to sit due to COVID protocol. As a result, Newton was cut from the Patriots, and Jones was announced as the week one starter versus Miami. Ironically, Miami's quarterback is Tua Tangavaloa, who's to date. That's all for now. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and comment down below which NFL player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us how many Super Bowls you think Mac Jones will win, and who will be the best QB to come out of the 2021 draft. See you next time.